Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Miranda and this is where I do product reviews, makeup tutorials, basically anything to do with beauty. And on today's video, we are continuing with my series, Makeup Made Easy. We are going to be talking about color correcting and foundation matching. So sit back, relax, enjoy the art of makeup with me. And if you don't already, please hit the subscribe, turn on the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos and give this video a big thumbs up. And without any further ado, let's begin. So if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, let me get you up to speed. I'm doing a series called Makeup Made Easy for all beginners and I'm going to be your makeup best friend to help you along the way. So what you've missed. I have two videos up already in the series and the first one is about all your makeup tools and how to use them so if you missed that one go check it out then the second one is skincare and skin prep and if you haven't noticed already i'm doing these videos in chronological order of how you would do your makeup so on today's video we are gonna do color correcting so i'm gonna get my hair clipped up and we're gonna begin Okay, I'm all ready. So why do we do color correcting before foundation? So with color correcting, we use other colors like green, orange, yellow, red, all different colors to correct the pigmentation of our skin. Now we can't do this over foundation because the color is not gonna sink into our skin and actually do what it's supposed to do. We have to do it under foundation so the foundation then hides all our color correct so because we are using our color corrector under our foundation that's why i'm doing color correcting before foundation matching now that you understand what color correcting is and why we use it under our foundation let me break it down for you and how you're going to use the different colors and what the different colors do for our skin Okay, so we're going to get into color correcting without getting into too much of the nitty gritty of the color wheel and color theory. But just for you guys' knowledge and for you all to understand, the color wheel and all the colors in the color wheel are specifically put into certain places. So, for example, the colors opposite each other complement each other as well as combat each other or cover each other up. Now, that's where color correcting comes from, where you take two colors opposite the color wheel and you lay them on top of each other or mix them and they're going to neutralize and combat each other. Let's look at this, for example. You guys can screenshot it in a bit when I will move out of the screen. But let's look at the first color that you can use for color correcting, which is purple. Now, purple cancels out any yellow. It brightens your skin. It gives you, it removes any dullness, etc, etc. But now you cannot go and put purple concealer all over your face at the same time. So you have to be very specific for the placement of color correcting. Then we have pink, which cancels out brown, dark marks, dark spots dullness um and any sunburn spots anything that you have from the sun blemishes and it's very good for pale skin and we have yellow which is opposite from purple and it cancels purple or covers purple now we don't have purple in our skin we don't have yellow showing we don't have yellow skin tones we don't have purple skin tones but we have a lot of these tones under our skin and we can use color correcting to neutralize that and you're going to see why that's helpful when i talk about foundation matching a color for color correcting that is actually helpful is green because it cancels red it covers sunburns rosacea any redness that you have in your skin a breakout acne um if you had a pimple and you popped it and the area around that pop that pop is red you're going to use green to cover that up now green and red are opposite each other in the color wheel and that's why green cancels red and red cancels green okay now for the last two at the bottom orange and peach orange cancels blue peach also cancels 
blue now let me explain how all of this is going to work how you're going to use it on your face and all of that but first i'm going to give you guys a chance to screenshot i'm going to move out you guys can screenshot that now i'm going to take the screen screen down and we're going to actually do this on our face now i'm going to show you one product and one product only that you're going to need to do generic um color correcting and i'm going to explain what i mean by generic color collecting in a little bit so this is it as you can see you have your pink that's going to help you neutralize any dark spots any um marks blemishes etc and you have the green that's gonna sort out your redness you have a concealer that you're gonna use with it and you're gonna see how i'm gonna use it in a bit and you have a cream highlighter with it so it's literally perfect this is all you need and i'm gonna demonstrate it in a bit now what i mean by generic color correcting is you want to neutralize the marks so you don't have all of these marks pimples red spots dark spots on your face the other colors that i showed you um when i had the green screen up that's for things like your foundation if the undertone of your foundation is let's say too much of blue what color do i use to neutralize that blue what color do i use to neutralize the yellowness in my foundation what color do i use to neutralize the purpleness in my in my foundation that's what you're going to use that the other colors for but for normal color correcting like your marks and stuff a red or a pink and a green is all you need all you need is a pink and a green that's it okay let's jump right into this and you're gonna want to get a flat foundation brush or concealer brush like this one and as you can see i have dark under eyes i have a few uh scratch marks over here so one color we're going to we're going into this pink just like that and all you're gonna do is we're gonna buff it into these areas with the foundation brush with the concealer brush Do you see how I neutralized that darkness in my, um, in my under eye? Okay, so I just finished blending out the color correction under my eye. Can you see how much brighter this my eyes look and that's the difference it's huge right so now i'm going to continue color correcting the rest of my face and we're going to just let it sit dry down and set but we're not using any powder any sweating spray nothing we're not setting this we're leaving it so still with the pink i'm going and color correcting here these marks that i have and you just buff it into the skin Do you all see that? The marks get covered. And it doesn't even look pink. It looks like a white or a cream that's going to get easily covered by your foundation. Okay? And again, we're leaving that. I have these dark marks here. By my lip that I don't like. We color correct it. On uh, my nose, I have this. Yeah, it's a pity that I don't have any redness to show you guys. So on all of my blemishes, dark marks. And now all of these marks is going to get covered by foundation so much faster. And you're going to have a clean canvas to work with when you're applying the rest of your foundation. 
you won't have to put concealer like really thick concealer for you to cover your your marks you won't have to put two layers of foundation or really thick foundation to cover your marks because this is going to be enough and I know it looks like a lot now but I still have to blend it and I'm going to show you guys how in a minute so you're going to go ahead and get your beauty blender and I already blended off my under eye and we're going to blend out the rest of the face just anywhere where you Because you don't want this to be like really thick on your skin. You want it to black blend in nicely with your skin. You want it to look like almost your skin, you know? And you guys can use a dry beauty blender or a wet beauty blender. Whatever is your preference. I just prefer a dry blender sometimes. I prefer a wet beauty blender. It just depends on the day. But it's nothing's right or wrong. It's just preference. And you'll see how much that darkness is covered. I look really crazy right now. But your marks are covered. Then we're going to go back into this palette. And remember I told you you have this concealer shade? Okay, we're going to go into that. With our beauty blender. And this shade obviously comes with the palette. It's a... Um, it's a generic shade like there's no um, specifications or like different shades so obviously for some people that the shade is gonna be too light some people the shade is gonna be too dark um, but it is fine we are gonna work with it and I'm gonna show you guys how we combat so much of lightness on our face while we are doing the rest of our makeup and while we are doing our foundation matching all of this is going to be covered and I have some dark spots on my forehead but I'm not going to color correct it I'm just going in with some of this and that is going to cover it up for me okay now if you have i know this looks like a lot but i do have a lot of like blemishes that i don't like and i like to cover up and then if you have like really dark under eyes i mean eyelids like i do you're gonna want to put some on there as well i put concealer you don't really have to but like if it's really dark and it's a concern of yours then go ahead because all of this is going to be covered in a little while okay and obviously if you have any redness if you have rosacea anything like that you're going to go into the green to cover that up and then into the the foundation into the concealer shade again i'm just going with a larger beauty blender just To make sure everything is tapped into my skin really really well and then you're gonna get your setting spray this is what i'm using and you're gonna spray your face and let it dry down for a little while just a little spray and I'm going to let that dry down and be right back. 
so you guys need to excuse my ghostly appearance just for a few more minutes of this video because now we're getting into foundation matching so let's say you go into a store and you want to pick a foundation first things first you're gonna wanna ask for a sample take the sample home and try it out a lot of places like discount clicks they're not gonna give you a sample and you're gonna have to check it out in the store discount and clicks they don't have like a lot of heavy lighting but you're gonna want to put the foundation on swatch it go outside and see how it looks in natural light store because we want our foundation to look good under natural light okay not white light not stage lights natural light because we're not going to be followed around and have this big bright white light on us the whole day no we're going to have natural light on us the whole day so check if the foundation matches a natural light when you're checking and testing colors for your foundation check it here on your jaw okay because a lot of people like my forehead is darker than my cheeks the my mouth area is also pretty dark and i have a little bit of shadows here because of my scarring so on your jawline here and it's also going to make sure that you match it to your neck so here along here this these three points they need to match okay because you're going to blend your foundation maybe till here or so even just down your neck a little bit so it needs to match the rest of your neck and it needs to look very very seamless when you blend it okay you don't want to put your foundation and then it stop here and here and here and here and here are two different colors okay okay now there's no one to help you at the the counter what are you gonna do you don't trust people that work at the counter what do you do okay first thing you need to know about picking your own foundation for yourself is you need to know your undertone now what is an undertone an undertone is the color that reflects from underneath your skin so it might be yellow it might be orange it might be blue it might be um golden it might be red you know you have a lot of colors that are in underneath the layer of your skin so you need to find the most prominent color that is reflecting out okay and it might be one color it might be a specific color but you have two main groups of undertones that's warm and cool you do have olive that's your kind of green undertones but most often you either cool or warm or neutral where you have a balance of colors under your skin and you have olive olive is very 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 rare but you do have that okay so olive is the easiest for you to know you will clearly see if you're olive olive skin tone is a very green very earthy type of colors you will see that green and i'm going to show you guys examples of different skin tones um after this now warm and cool warm is your very goldeny colors you have a very brown warmth what what do you associate warmth with that's your skin tone and cool is very your blues warm is maybe yellow cool is very blue purple type of colors that is under your skin tone and i'm going to give you one method the easiest method for you to know whether you are warm or cool tone okay let's look at real life examples of undertones there's warm undertone as you can see very very golden okay here's cool undertone very pink very yellow and olive very very green okay olive and warm can be easily confused but if you look at the olive can you see the gold shining through and you see the olive is much more green very um just like an olive okay so now how do we find out which undertone we belong to because from looking at your face you might be hmm i look a bit gold but i also look a bit pink you may be looking pink maybe because of rosacea maybe acne you know all of those things can play a part in your skin tone right and they can ref uh, affect how you see your undertone but let me show you we're gonna look at our veins okay look at your veins now if you have warm 
um tone your veins are usually very very green okay you can't see my veins but i have green veins if you are cool undertone you have blue veins and if you have olive undertone you have a mix of brown and green veins okay another way to know whether you're warm or cool is jewelry so if you look good in silver jewelry you are cool if you look good in gold jewelry you are warm now you guys always see me with silver jewelry but you guys can see that it like doesn't look really nice against my skin it almost like you cannot see it but if i take something gold and i put it against my skin tone do you see how much more it shines and it looks so much more better against my skin tone exactly like jewelry now if both silver and gold look good on you you're most likely neutral that means you can get away with uh warm undertones and cool undertone foundations if you have a mixture of green and blue veins you are cool so it's gonna take you some time to figure out your undertone but once you do it's gonna be so much more helpful when you're trying to pick up foundations okay so now you know your undertone what do you do next now you're gonna go into your shop that you're gonna purchase your foundation and you're gonna take a minute and you're gonna actually look at your foundations here's one for example now some foundations actually say whether this foundation is for warm skin or for cool skin for example over here on the foundation name it says warm cinnamon but um when i purchased this foundation at um clicks it had all the foundations that are for warm skin in one row for cool skin in another row and then you're gonna look for the shade now the actual tone of the foundation not the undertone the your skin tone so you're gonna take you're gonna look at all the warm foundations so let's say you're in the middle like me so you're gonna take away everything that all the colors that are too light you're gonna move it away all the colors that are too dark you're gonna move it away then you have maybe three or four foundations then you're gonna see okay maybe that one is a bit too dark this one is a bit too light so then you're gonna only have two and you're gonna go and you're gonna take a tester and you're gonna put it on your skin just about here and then you're gonna wait and you're gonna rub it in okay not totally you're just gonna rub it in enough for you to see if it matches your skin now as you can see here it doesn't completely dissolve into my skin but it does kind of look just like my neck it matches my neck then this is from a different brand but i'm just going to show you guys what the two shades might look like okay so here's one here's one shade and here's the other shade very similar this is lighter than this one so now it just depends both of them will look stunning on you okay but which one do you want to look can you see that it matches my neck can you see that it matches my neck this is too light for me though can you see the difference i would go with this one and that's basically how you're gonna test which foundation is gonna look best for you and for your skin tone if the foundation doesn't have an undertone then you're gonna look at the name beige cool undertone anything it said if it says warm something is warm undertone uh cinnamon um caramel is warm um my other foundation uh if it has rich rich is warm um rich ginger rich cinnamon or whatever warm um look at the names of the foundation they would give you clues okay and then it's just about 
whether it is it gonna match your skin tone and if it is too light if you mistakenly take the one that's too light it's fine you're gonna come back that later if it's too dark it's fine it'll come back later and after blending and settling into the skin it will look just fine now let's talk about application a lot of foundations you apply them differently some you get like a tinted moisturizer that you would apply with your hands then you would get some that is very runny that you just have to apply with a beauty blender because with your hands it's just going to get all over the place so let us go and test out and use this foundation right here today and i'm going to show you how i apply my foundation to take my foundation this one comes with a pump not all comes with a pump some you have to um decant like this one you're gonna have to, you're gonna want to pour it out um i'm gonna show you guys another one this one you squeeze it out um this one here that i just showed you guys it comes with this so you're gonna want to put it directly onto your skin but it just it doesn't matter okay and however much you want to put in your skin is what you put i start with one pump of this and i'm gonna go into a foundation brush with this foundation it sets really really quickly so you're gonna want to work really really fast okay and all i do is i start buffing it out with the brush And can you see how all that color correcting is getting covered? Everything is coming together. And how beautiful does that look? Again, this foundation sets very, very quickly. So you're going to want to move really quickly. I go under my eyes. And today I'm going and covering my whole lid because of my color correcting. And it's just going to add coverage for when we put our concealer later on. And then don't forget to blend slightly down your neck. My brows isn't done yet, so I'm not worried about getting into my brows with foundation. It will come out when I'm doing my brows. This foundation is very buildable, so you can go from medium coverage to full coverage very quickly. But let's talk about foundations. So you get different types of foundations. You get full coverage foundations, you get medium coverage foundations. And you get light coverage foundations. A light coverage foundation would be something like a tinted moisturizer, a skin tint, or something like the Maybelline Fit Me is very, very light coverage. Then you get something that are medium coverage or buildable. So something like the one that I'm using today. Or the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation. They're very medium coverage, but you can obviously build it up to a more full coverage foundation which is what i'm doing right now after i did my first layer i'm going in with a second layer to build it up to become very full coverage then you get something like estee lauder that is super super full coverage huda beauty super super full coverage that you only need a very little to get your desired coverage with something like a full coverage foundation you wouldn't have to do color correcting under with a medium coverage foundation you would have to do color correcting under with a light coverage foundation such as a skin tint you cannot do um color correcting under because 
the coverage of a light coverage foundation is not gonna cover up your color correcting and you're just gonna either look too white or your colors are gonna show and it's not gonna look very pretty if you want to color correct i suggest you do it when you're using a medium coverage foundation because then everything would be covered you would have a flawless base to work with and if you're using a high coverage foundation only use a foundation because you're not paying so much money for a high coverage foundation if you still have to color correct and if you still have to color correct while using a high coverage foundation then it's not a good high coverage foundation then once your makeup is looking like this i go in with the beauty blender again dry beauty blender not damp and i just pass it into my skin just like that making sure that there's no lines no creases no strokes from the brush And just making sure that everywhere is covered. Go into all your creases, make sure everywhere there's foundation. And look at that. Look at how beautiful that foundation sets. One more thing is you have different bases of foundation so you get an oil based foundation a water based foundation and a silicone based foundation now this is vital if you do not want to look cakey if you have a water based foundation you need to get a water based concealer a water based cream contour water based cream blush and a water based uh primer if not Products are not going to sit nice under your foundation and products are not going to sit nice over your foundation if they don't all have the same base. So, how do you know if they have the same base? You have to look at the ingredients at the back. If it is water base, all the time, water would be your first ingredient. And all your watery products, all your water based products will be at the top of the list. If you have silicone based products at the top of the list then it is silicone based if you have oily products at the top of the list it is oil based okay so that's how you know what your foundation bases are now if you mix oil a uh, oil based foundation with the oil base with a water based primer what's going to happen they're not going to mix and they're going to look cakey so you want to make sure all your products are of the same base to avoid cakiness so guys that is all for today's video on color correcting and foundation matching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was really helpful and if you did and if this helped you please 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 like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on a future video and as always, you guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.